How's it going guys? This tutorial is going to be for if you're using a sprite sheet or if you're using separate PNGs. I'm going to cover both so no matter what you're doing this should have you covered. Hopping right into it in a new scene I'm going to just open up a blank 2D scene. This is just going to be our level and I'm going to add an animated sprite. For these animations what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some new sprite frames. The first thing I'm going to do is work with these individual photos because I think that's a bit easier. So I'm going to drag and drop all of these into our new animation. <clears throat> and here we have 10 frames. So if I play it, it'll just play the animation. Uh, we're currently looping. We can shut that off if we want to, but I'm going to leave it on. And I'm going to raise this to 30 frames per second so that it's a little faster. We can rename it to attack. And then let's create some GD script. I'm going to drag and drop that animated sprite. And I am going to say animated sprite 2D.play. And we want to play that attack animation. We're going to do that inside of the ready function so that as soon as our sprite loads, we are also running the animation. And if I run this project with F6, we should be able to see the animated sprite working. All right, that looks great. But what if we didn't want to do this, right? What if we wanted to use the actual sprite sheet? Well, we could do that too. Let's make a new animation here. We'll call this attack underscore two. Make sure that's the one that we're playing here as well. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this option, which says add frames from sprite sheet. Then I'm going to select my sprite sheet. Now it's where it gets a little tricky. What you're going to have to do is first figure out how many frames you have going vertically and horizontally. Uh, vertically, there's only one for me. Horizontally, there's 10. So mine is actually pretty simple. It's just going to be one and then 10 but you might have a really big spreadsheet. You also may need to adjust the size and the separation. I don't think I have to, this looks pretty solid. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. And I'm gonna select all the frames and I'm gonna add all 10 frames. And we should have basically the same animation now. Again, it's much slower. Um, just that it still looks a little different. I'll just put it at 20. And now if we run it, we'll be running that slower animation. And there we go. That's really all it takes to get your animated sprite up and running. If you found this helpful, leave a like, let me know. And if you have any questions, also let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you have a great day. Take it easy.